Okay, let's try it again. Four, one, five, nine, four, seven, eight thousand. Okay. Thank you for calling the Environmental Protection Agency, Pacific Southwest Regional Office. Please select from the following five options. If you'd like to report an environmental incident, press 1. If you know the name or extension of the person you wish to reach, press 2. For human resources or job information, press 3. For all questions regarding hazardous waste ID numbers, press 4. If you need other information or assistance, press 5. If this is a life-threatening emergency, please hang up and call 911. If you're calling about a spill or chemical release in progress, press 1 to be directed to our spill line at 800-300-2193. To report a violation, press 2 to reach our tips and complaints line at 415-947-4510 or visit www.epa. Dot gov forward slash enforcement. To repeat this message, press 9. To return to the main menu, press pound. If this is a life-threatening emergency, please yeah. hang up and call 911. If you're calling about a spill or chemical release in progress, press 1 to be directed to our spill line at 800 -3 Welcome to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency Emergency Spill Line. To contact the National Response Center, please press 1. For EPA general information, please press 2. To talk to a duty officer, please press 3. Please hold while we connect your call to a duty officer. Region Line, Ramin speaking. Oh, hi. Uh, and your name was? Ramin. Ramin. Hi, Ramin. Uh, it's Bill. I am calling to uh, report uh, some jets flying over, leaving some uh, materials in the air, spraying some materials in the air. Okay. Um, I think I know what you're talking about, the chemtrails. Um, um, well, I don't... I don't I, I, I just noticed that these jets, they fly over and they're not in commercial flight patterns. And uh, occasionally they will turn on and off their sprayers in mid-flight. And so I don't know what they call them. I was under the impression that possibly PG&E, uh, because they're on record as trying to modify the weather, um, or somebody like that is spraying some things in the air to modify the weather. And so, last I've year... I've never heard of that myself. I'm just... Can you hang on just a second here? There, I'm back. Um, th we have a number to call about this kind of um, thing. Um, I can give the number to you. They're uh, more knowledgeable about this kind of issue than I am. Okay. Okay, and the number is 734-214-4432. And what's the name of this organization? Um, it's the EPA hotline okay. for contrails. Yeah, well, these... These are not contrails because they just turn off and on in mid-flight. They can't be contrails because if the jet turned off in mid-flight, it would crash, wouldn't it? I think it's more to do with the air, the quality of the air pockets that it's flying through. That's my understanding, but the people on the hotline, hotline number will know more than I about it. But that's my understanding. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, bye. Yeah. Pockets in the air. Well, how come I see the commercial passenger jets with no contrail? They, they tested the native grasses.
to find out and determine how much of this material was being absorbed in their cows, their bovine. And they calculated over the course of the year, because of the metals the grasses were absorbing, a cow would ingest over a half a kilo of aluminum. That's a phenomenal amount. It's a wonder anything's alive. And we've seen, again, soil pH changes here in Shasta County escalate towards alkaline an unimaginable amount because there's that much aluminum coming down in our rainfall. And the, the bottom statement is most important of all because we live in a society that says, don't think negative things, just think positively. Just think happy thoughts and everything will work out. And I'm, I'm all for trying to not overburden oneself till you become dysfunctional. But the bottom line is, as the bottom statement says, the hallmark of a healthy and rational mind is most forcefully displayed by an unyielding willingness to face the truth no matter how dire or dark. That's a healthy mind. You don't stand in the middle of a freeway and turn your back to traffic, do you? And I've used that example a lot. For, for those of you that have tried to introduce this to family and friends, it goes completely against their paradigm of reality, and they resist it. And I know this, because my family has more or less disowned me completely, except my immediate family. But I, I can't... I can't change that. I can only answer to my call of conscience. And this is where to thine own self, this is what this means to my, to thine own self be true. If we ignore our conscience, what are we? And if we don't ignore our conscience and we take action every day, if, if any one of you passed on credible data to two people at the beginning of the first day of the month, and them to two each the second day, and so on for 30 days. I use this equation a lot because it really points out how much of a difference we can make. That's five and a half million at the end of 30 days. Anyone in this room could be the, the final pebble that causes the avalanche of awareness. And we're getting close. We're getting close to a tipping point. That's where critical mass comes in. As we wake up our military brothers and sisters, people in agencies, I was just in, as I shared the last presentation in well, in fact, his name, I believe, is George Day. There's someone who lives in Reading named George Day that works at the California EPA in Reading. And I went in to see him to pass data on two weeks ago, which he didn't want. And he made it clear he didn't give a damn about this issue. EPA water quality testing didn't give a damn. And now they've been served from our attorneys. So I have to steal my chance warfare assault that's going on over our heads every single day. The illegal spraying of heavy metals, polymers, and chemicals from jet aircraft that are part of the climate engineering insanity is completely contaminating the biosphere and the breathable air column. Thus, every breath we take. We can hide from vaccinations to some degree, at least in some states, not California anymore, but we can't hide from the air we need to breathe. In addition to completely contaminating our air column, it's also derailing the climate system and Earth's life support processes. There's nowhere to hide from this onslaught, and we must remember this and continue, thus to keep the fight against climate engineering as a top priority. On that note, the air we breathe, here's another headline. New fears over damage from air pollution in blood system. Now, when you inhale these particles, we have internationally recognized bioscientists, neurologists like Dr. Russell Blaylock, and anyone can investigate what I'm saying, please do so, stating on the record that the fall off from climate engineering is so damaging and enters right through the olfactory nerve, right into the, the bloodstream, crosses the blood-brain barrier. That's why we have statistics like dementia as the number one cause of death in the UK, and not saying there's not other peripheral causes, but... When something contaminates every breath we take, that is mathematically by far the greatest causal factor. When, when our air is full of aluminum, barium, strontium, in the case of aluminum, peer-reviewed study linking this to dementia, autism, Alzheimer's, everything that we see going exponential, and lab tests prove it's in every breath we take. From that report, again, over damage from air pollution particulates, nanoparticulates, which is what geoengineering patents name specifically, and this article tries to hang this only on vehicle exhaust fumes. But we're talking about the same size particle used in climate engineering showing up in lab tests around the globe. Can build up and damage.